Absolutely. Hey, Chelsea, talk about Faithful Fish. How'd you start this? Why'd you start it? Um, I started it when I was 17. I had five family members pass away within two years of each other, including Whoa. my dad on the phone with me. He died of a severe heart attack while I called him on the uh. phone. And I wanted to start wearing something that showed my faith, showed who, who I believed in in a subtle way. Um, I looked on the market, looked everywhere. There was nothing out there that I liked that I personally would ever wear. Mm -hmm. um, so I sat in my room for hours in one day and just came up with different designs, different logos, different everything showed my mom and Faithful Fish took off from there and when I figured it could be a business I trademarked it and did everything. She's got five it, employees Dave and is doing great. So how much, what's your gross revs on this Chelsea? Um, it's a million but I don't really, it's not about the money for me, it's about giving away. I want to help wow. the charities that I give to and help other people. I appreciate that, but I'm talking to a 21-year-old who's creating a million dollars. That's pretty dead blame impressive. I've noticed that broke people can't give away. <laughs> so I, I, I'm pretty impressed. Thank you. Very, very cool. So um, why did you think this would work? Um, because, like I said, I did my research. I didn't see anything on eBay store and stores. I didn't see anything that was cute or preppy that I know other girls would like. I know you know, more preppy teens would like. And mm -hmm. there's a niche market, so... Well, I, you know, I, I, as a Christian, I go in the Christian bookstore, and i got to tell you, there's a Jesus everything, man. I mean, there's there there's is. mints you can get. So, I mean, th there's definitely T-shirts out there. They're not the T-shirts uh, that I But I wear. guess they're more in your face, or they're more... Uh, th this is pretty subtle, isn't it? It is, it is. That's what I, that's what I want, is something subtle, not in your face, too evangelical. I just want something that someone will walk by and be like, oh, she's a Christian too, but it's really subtle. It's not something to get scared about. It's the other like a day, fun thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut in. The other day, Dave, I'm doing yoga, and I don't know if you know anything about asanas and postures, but I'm in what's called the down dog, and the lady teacher came over and looked at my T-shirt, which was a faithful fish T-shirt, and said, way to go. So what she's done is she's done something subtle. It's, you know, tasty, elegant, got style, class, savoir faire, and panache. So you talked about giving back. How are you doing that? Um, well, in the f before I gave to um, Hope Builders and Feed the Hungry. Currently, mm -hmm. I sponsor Fellowship of Christian Athletes monthly. Mm -hmm. I support mm -hmm. them. Um, and I actually just had a phone call last week, and we're going to start teaming up with FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And it's mm -hmm. a campaign they have called Fields of Faith. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Very cool. So now take me from the bedroom after all of these uh, deaths happen in your family, all these losses. You're sitting in the bedroom and, and you've you're got these ideas. Uh, you start writing down some ways to be subtle, something that's tasteful for you. How do you go from there to a million dollars in sales? Um, we're, we did tons of home shows. That's how we first started. It was home shows, taking all the clothes to different people's houses, having all of their friends come over to look at the clothes. Obviously they bought them. Um, our website, uh, word of mouth. <laughs> right. So where do most of your sales come now? On um, the web? Right now on the web. And, and what's the website? www.faithfulfish.com. Faithfulfish.com. And they've all got the fish on there, of course. And we've got the collared shirts yep. with the fish on there, the pink hats. Now, these are this is a ladies-only line? Uh, no, it's men's, too. Men's no, I mean, because Mark's wearing the shirt. I guess not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't dress right, and drag this week, so. <laughs> <laughs> cool. i got to tell you, though, Dave, she's also got four saleswomen that uh, I met when I was down with her in Atlanta because we were doing a big church down there and what's amazing to me is that they're calling all these churches and the churches are all buying in on this so there may be other great products out there but hers are, are penetrating the market in a bigger and better way well as I pick up the shirt the t-shirt and hold it it is not a t-shirt this is I don't know what this stretchy material but it feels comfortable it's so soft I mean I'm wearing it right now and it's yeah so it's very soft. soft it really is it's got to be comfortable and you know fun to wear and uh, that kind of stuff as well very cool so uh, Mark was saying you went through Financial Peace University when did you do that I did that oh, a couple of months ago I did that with your um, mom well my mom went first and she thought it was the best thing ever. And then, you know, I was just like, okay, well, I'm, I don't want to go, Mom. I don't want to go. But since I'm 21 <laughs> and I have a company. And you're making a lot of money and you better know how to do your money. <laughs> exactly. I went to this course and, I mean, it was so interactive and so fun that it really, like, I learned a lot in this. And I tell all wow. my friends so they would make the dumbest decisions and I try to help them out with your ideas and your stuff I learned 
on the well, course. Well, thank you. You're inspiring. I've got a 21-year-old daughter that's sharp as well, and uh, 23 and a 17. So I'm going to definitely tell them about this, uh, pass oh, some of these products on to them, and pass this book on to them. They've got to read. Mark, talk us about some of the other examples of some of these young people that are successful in this book. Okay, I'll do that. Let me just say that you and I are in alignment. That I teach 10-10. 10, 70. I teach people to give 10, and if they got to start at one quarter, one percent, build up because that gives that umbrella of protection. It also gives opportunities nobody else got. Then I say you got to save 10, and then you got to invest 10 percent of your earnings. So out of 100 dollars, you give 10, save 10, invest 10 dollars, and then live on 70, which I'm sure you would agree with pretty much. And then mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's interesting. Everyone says, "Well, I've been investing, and that ought to be my money." I said, "No," because in a down cycle. You know, you've got to have something that you can float through the cycle, and like you say, you've got to have months in advance. Mm -hmm. So uh, these kids have just been so stellar. Every one of them, uh, you know, had the dream which fueled their energy. And, and like we've got Allison Ames came over to my office with some cupcakes, and, and my charity is uh, my Mark Victor Hans Foundation is dedicated to giving a GED to every kid in America and having everyone learn universal sign language so we can get the business of the world going again. And we have a butterfly, the universal symbol of illumination with the world on it. She comes over and shows me these cakes as Wonderland Bakery. I started at five years old. I'd get up at three o'clock in the morning, start doing all these delicious, delightful, delectable things. And then I wrote a business plan. I went to culinary school. I graduated head of my class. We put her whole business plan in the back of the book because, Dave, I've never seen a kid with a business plan as thorough as, as Allison's. She now makes $500,000 a month selling cupcakes online. And my daddy was a baker. And I can tell you that... If you'd asked me if a baker could sell anything online and then ship it, I'd tell you I didn't think so. But all these kids are doing breakthrough stuff that just, it wows my soul. And when somebody sees any of these kids with me live, I think they say, holy cow, if a kid can go out and earn millions and they're under 18 or 19 or 21 years old, why can't I go do it too? And, and we can get America going again and thinking right. An entrepreneur takes low value, makes it high value to themselves, to the marketplace, to the family, to the future, and then they create a fortune. Good stuff. Well, Mark and Chelsea, it's an honor to have you guys with us. It's inspiring stuff. The book is The Richest Kids in America. Chelsea's website, again, is faithfulfish.com. Go check it out. You will enjoy these products. I'm sitting here touching them, feeling them, trying them on myself, and I'll give them an endorsement, definitely. Chelsea, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We lovingly well, thank you, Dave. Yes. Keep up the good work. Get everyone saving and investing and earning more than they've ever earned, would you? Absolutely, Mark. Thank you, man. It's an honor to have you guys with us. The book again, Richest Kids in America, hits bookstores next week, June 1st, and it's featured on our website at DaveRamsey.com. You can buy it on Mark's website, of course, MarkVictorHenson.com. And find out more about Chelsea and her clothing company. Check out her website, FaithfulFish.com.